One of the things about the 2023 NBA draft class that really stands out to me overall is that there are a lot of really good defenders amongst this group. Obviously, we all know about Victor Wembanyama. The Thompson twins, Amen and Asar, are excellent defensively. Bilal Koulibaly of the Wizards and Taylor Hendricks of the Jazz both have the potential to be terrific defenders. Ben Shepard is already one of Indiana's best defenders. Tumani Kamara for Portland had many impressive defensive moments in his rookie campaign. Also somewhere at the top of this list is the Orlando Magic's Anthony Black, who appeared in 69 regular season games in 2023-24, including 33 that he started in. The first thing to highlight about Black is his defensive contest frequency. At 6'7", his length so many times disrupted opponent shots. This particular stat is interesting. Among the 244 players who were the closest defender to at least 400 shots in the regular season, Black had the ninth highest contest percentage rate at 94.1%, which was also second among guards. Number one on that list overall was Sacramento's Keegan Murray, and last was Atlanta's Trey Young. That's according to Second Spectrum. Just reviewing how Black fared contesting notable players, Jalen Brunson was 8 of 19 from the field with Black contesting. D'Angelo Russell was 2 of 8. Donovan Mitchell was 2 of 6. Cade Cunningham was also 2 of 6. Zach Levine was 0 of 5. And Trey Young was 2 of 7. Something else I was able to discover was how poorly opponents shot from 3 points straight away with Black defending. According to Second Spectrum, Opponents made just 9 of their 39 attempts from this region, with AB as the nearest defender. Among the 273 players who were the closest to at least 35 of these shots, that 23% mark ranked 5th lowest. What I also found impressive was his ability to stay connected to opponents flying around off-ball screens. This led to a combination of many missed shots and turnovers. Just watching these clips, you can see how hard AB works to stay linked with his man. Orlando defended the 8th most shots that were created via an off-ball screen. Opponents made just 38.7% of those attempts. Both Black and Jalen Suggs are exceptional at pressuring ball handlers up the floor. The Magic as a team ranked fourth in most times pressuring a ball handler in the backcourt. And they forced the third most turnovers ultimately after applying backcourt pressure. 
Orlando's defensive rating with Black on the floor in the regular season was 108.9. The only two Magic players with better on-court defensive ratings were Jonathan Isaac and Franz Wagner. And among all rookies who appeared in at least 40 games, Black ranked number one in defensive rating. Offensively, it's still a little blurry as to what he can become and how the Magic will utilize him as he develops. One specific thing Black exceeded expectations with from an offensive standpoint was his shooting from distance off kickout passes from the paint. I thought this was an interesting stat, so Black shot 43.2% on 37 attempts from three-point range off a kickout from the paint. Of his 16 makes, Paolo Bencaro and Cole Anthony each delivered four of them. Franz Wagner and Markel Fultz each had two of those passes. Black was Orlando's only player to shoot over 40% on them with at least 35 attempts. Joe Ingles shot 53% on 30 attempts. Overall from three-point range, AB shot 39.4%. 50% of his three-point attempts came from the corners, where he shot just over 40%. Another thing he does well is make hard cuts to the basket, which was something the Magic as a team excelled at. They ranked fourth in scoring off cuts this season. More specifically, they were great making passes to cutters directly from the paint, which is less common. Here you see Black be the recipient of some of them. The big question going forward is whether he can develop a better shooting touch out of self-creation. According to Second Spectrum, he took 31 shots following an on-ball pick, but made just 9 of them. That's 29%. What's interesting though is that he has impressive movements as far as shiftiness and some craftiness, but a lot of times he just wasn't able to make the shot. Something less glaring, but an effective part of his game, is his off-ball screening. For a guard, he does a really good job angling his screens, which frees up teammates, as you can see from these clips. For the season, he appeared in 69 games, averaged 16.9 minutes, 4.6 points, 2.0 rebounds, 1.3 assists, 0.5 steals, and 0.3 blocks, shooting 46.6% from the field overall, 39.4% from three-point range, and 61.3% from the free throw line. His best scoring game came on December 26 against the Washington Wizards when he scored 23 points. He also had a 20-point game in his hometown of Dallas on January 29th against the Mavs. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe.